am Fiber T Bear, and welcome to day two of the fight for Julia. And with me at this time, uh, here in the booth, is the Rev. And uh, you know, first of all, Rev, I gotta ask you, who in the blue fuck is Julia? Uh, you know, I can't really tell you much about Julia. Um, I can certainly tell you she is a woman. She's not a transsexual hooker I picked up in a dark, dank hallway and couldn't tell until it was too late. And I have this cold because of it. Um, but she is all woman, and that's really all I can say. She will love the winner long time, and I expect to be the winner today. All right, so so Rev, um, yeah, you've only been playing Blaze Blue for about a week and a half. I've played Chrono Phantasm for about a week and a half. Liam's only had it for a couple days. Do you feel you have an advantage coming into this battle after yesterday's tie? I definitely feel like I have an advantage. Um. The only real regret, regret that I have is that I used the DualShock 3. I did not bring my Canva with me to this battle. But I think my Kokonoe game is on, my Azrael game is on, and nobody can beat my Ragna. So you're going to see me bring the heat like I did yesterday, and there will not be a tie today. All right. Um, Rev, you got to get going. We got to get you to prepare. Uh, are there any like secrets? Like, What's your secret? Um, the only real secret is I am not wearing underwear right now. Okay, that is too much information. Uh, letting it breathe freely. Okay, and he's wearing some, like, those shorts are disturbing me. Okay, uh, let's throw it over to the first match. Dr. Levesque will be here shortly. Okay, here we go with our first match. The Riv is Azriel, and, um, Liam is, uh, Terry. Rev said he's going to bring his Azrael game, so let's see. Uh, Dr. Levesque, what do you know about the Rev's Azrael? I know uh, he was the first character the Rev picked up. Which I think Bullet was, but the Rev doesn't really like to play with Bullet. Uh, this should be an interesting bout. How many the Rev's been bringing it. The Rev's definitely been bringing it. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Alright, and we are underway. Oh, I mean, Liam bringing the heat. Now, by the way, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Levesque, do you know what the fuck this was captured through? It's like we're looking like an old man through cataracts. What are you looking at? Like an old man with cataracts. Yeah, exactly. Like an old man with cataracts. I don't know. I don't know what this was recorded on. I was going to say it was recorded with a potato. Uh, but uh, Sir Liam's uh, capture equipment is not uh, top tier. Uh, you know, uh, we gotta go concentrate on this match because some crazy shit's going on that we have ignored. I and mean, Rev has just mounted this big comeback in his first round, hitting that uh, overdrive. He, he's won this first round. That is amazing. Yeah, with, with minimal effort, he's just bashing the C button, kicking Teremy's ass, doing exactly what he said he was gonna do. He is kicking. Liam's ass! I was playing very cautiously. Uh, as he should, because, you know, Azrael, he's a power character. You don't really combo with him. Uh, you don't see him a lot in tournaments. But uh, the Rev seems to know what he's doing with Azrael. It's a very different Rev that we saw yesterday. He was not playing with his uh, Telkaka. Indeed, and oh, Jeremy, bring him back. Bring it back, putting the heat on. Oh shit. Oh, that we blocked it. He blocked it. Oh, it's really uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the red is uh seems to know Azrael's strengths. And that's just kicking the shit out of Terry. All right, we're down to the wire here. This is really close. Oh shit! Overdrive, Rev wins this motherfucker! That was an amazing win by the way. <coughs> I did not expect that. That was an awesome match, and uh, I gotta hand it to the Rev. He brought the heat. He won, just like he said he was gonna do. He kicked his ass. But you know there were seven other bouts. Uh, Let's see if the Rev can keep this pace up. Yeah, you know, um, I'm 
I was impressed. You know, I'm, usually you know, when you see these these tournament matches, you see these stupid fucking combos that are just showing off. The ref stuck with what worked, and he won. And that's how you bring the heat. That was a hype match and a hype beginning to this series of matches. I, uh... I don't know. I, we, let's go to the next match. Okay. <laughs> Someone spent eight dollars. Indeed. I actually hear the Rev, uh... Get some DLC that he already unlocked. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's unverified. Well, the Rev said he was bringing it with his Kokonoe. Let's uh, see if he's going to. He said his Kokonoe is tight. Let's see if he is. he's going to bring that hype. This is going to be a bag of Doritos. Just don't get in my way. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be Pringles, cause so once Rev pops, he can't stop. One. Hopefully that'll be uh, the winner and Julia later tonight. Oh man, Rev, kicking it into high gear right away. <laughs> Liam is Kagura here. Oh man, look at the Rev combo. Rev is a beast. The Rev is fucking Brock Lesnar. He is the beast incarnate. He is the black beast. He is the beast. The beast from the east, Bam Bam Bigelow. The, the beast. Here comes the pain. Liam is mounting an offensive. <laughs> wow, that was some spam. Man, send, uh, send Liam to uh, Hawaii. Because uh, he'll be over there like spam. Man, uh, Liam is overly aggressive here. Just chopping away. Rev, uh, still mounting that offense. Nice combo there. Another. This is crazy shit. Oh shit. We are down to the wire on this second round. Uh, this is this is Doritos. Oh shit! It looks like the Rev might lose this one. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. Nope. This is hype. This is what hype is. We don't know what hype is. No, we we have no fucking idea what hype. I don't even think the people who invented the term hype know what hype means. <coughs> well, excuse me. Damn transsexual hooker. So, uh, Rev got the last round. Can we get an explanation of what hype is after this bout? Just we need that. And, uh, and Rev is kicking his ass. Just like he said he would. The Rev really wants to be loved long time. We're down to the wire here. This is a bag of lays. You can't have just one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Rev gets that one, and that was a that was that was hype. <laughs> That's right. That was hype. And can we get that explanation of what the fuck hype is? End of a match. Or the middle of a match when you know that the next five seconds or so the next move is going to determine the outcome of the match and the outcome of this match is going to determine like who wins and who loses and that's going to determine you know a ten thousand dollar prize that's hype and that's what's great about fighting games is you know that the next second or the next second after that it can happen you don't know what it is it can be a combo or a parry or a special moment and you're just on the edge of your seat and if you blink you might miss it and so everyone is just waiting and waiting and then it happens and, and the room just blows up that is hype all right that still doesn't answer our question no i still have no idea what it is all right but here we go third match ragna the rev is ragna and uh Liam is a towel. All right. 
Well, it looks like uh, someone spent a few dollars on that DLC, too. Yeah, yeah, can I get sushi DLC? Someone, uh, someone bought that. Rebel Lions, action! Rebel Lions, strong. Now Liam is no slouch with Tal though, so that, this match could go either way. The ref said he is a beast with Ragna, so let's see. He's the black beast. Mm. Oh. I'm losing my voice here. Yeah, this has been so hype. So Pringles, so Doritos, so Lay's potato chips, so Oops snack mix, so uh, so Cheez Its. I mean, it's been crazy. It's been fish. It's been a lot of things. It's been hyper than hype. And the ref goes goes the first round. The first round goes to the ref. First round goes to the ref. That is sick. And so, and so far, the ref has said, done everything he said he is going to do. <coughs> well, you know, I mean, whether you face the ref in a transatlantic battle, or who I can only assume is a trans. Uh, you know, I can only assume is a Vietnamese hooker, or you face him in the ring for a world title in front of like 80,000 people in Spain. The ref is going to do what he says he's going to do. He says he's going to win, it's going to win. And that's just how amazing the ref is. Whether you face him in the ring or uh, online. And uh, that second round goes to Sir Liam. Sick shit. This has been, this, this, these battles have been like just sick, all out wars. I have never seen anything like this in my two days of commentating over competitive fighting games. I used to play Street Fighter 2 comparatively back in the day, back when my boys were a football player. But, uh, so I know a few things. Uh, the Red's mentor, uh, James Greenwald, he taught the Rev a lot, both uh, as a pro wrestler and as a competitive fighting game player. And, uh, this one goes to the Rev. That was a lot closer. A lot closer. But that one went to the Rev, and, uh, you know, and Grunwald, one of the greatest Street Fighter 2 players of all time, doesn't play Street Fighter anymore, he's retired, but, uh, you know, he both trained the Rev as a wrestler and as a competitive fighting game player, and I think that really showed today, it's showing today, the Rev is on a three-win streak, I don't know if, uh, Liam can come back from that, that, that's, Three wins. Three wins so far, and the Rev has brought it. The Rev has definitely brought it, and uh, I gotta say, I gotta say, the Rev definitely has shown that he has the skills to pay the bills. He is gonna, he is gonna bring it. He said he was gonna bring it, and he has brought it. It has been brought in. <coughs> and, you know, uh, I think this one's gonna go to the Rev. Uh, Dr. Lark, what do you think? Do you think that Rev's gonna take this one today? I definitely think the Rev is going to take this one today. Uh, the Rev is better than I have ever seen him in any fighting game. Uh, he does have a few losses online. His Kagura wasn't tight, but his Noel is very tight. So, uh, I think uh, the Rev is going to take this. The Rev wins uh, like two more. He's got this one. Yeah, and you know, speaking about Noel, Noel is the next match. Um... So we're going to throw it over to that one. But, I mean, the Rev is beasting today. This is crazy shit. Crazy shit. I mean, the Rev is already, you know, he's, he's four. He's four and one against Liam. And that's sick. Yeah, I mean, the Rev wins two more of these. He's, he's got, uh, Julia will be loving him long time. The Rev just gets two more. All right, well, let's throw it over. Uh, the next batch of uh, the Rev, I believe, is Noel. And, uh, Sir Liam is Izayoi. Okay, here we go. Fourth match here. I think the ref got this. Ref's got this. Uh, his Noel is so tight. It is tighter than, uh... <clears throat> I don't even know if I'm allowed to use that analogy. Right, we're back at that Kagetsuchi port. Nice intro there. Hype intro. 
This is hype. This is hype. This is what hype is. I think we already established we have no fucking idea what the fuck hype is. I... Oh, this fighting game turns are just fucking retarded. Yeah, they're, they're just... They're retarded. They are more retarded than, uh... Than, uh, what's his name? Sammy Classic Sonic. That's how retarded this shit is. No overdrive! Whoa! Yeah, Liam's bringing on the heat. This is, uh, sick. Very I'm impressed by how Liam has been putting the heat on the rev. But, uh, I don't know if he can win this one. And I, the first round, the first round goes to Liam. Holy shit! But you know, I mean, Liam's been, you know, he's been winning rounds, but he can't get the job done. It's like trying to beat the Undertaker's streak. It's gonna take a beast to end it. Indeed, I mean, the rev is. He is like the Undertaker with his streak today. Of course, uh, we all know after WrestleMania that uh, streaks can end. And I learned streaks could end years ago when uh, Tollgate High School ended Mount St. Charles hockey ring. None of us can speak today. <coughs> hey, my voice is good. I swear, I'm gonna find that hooker and I'm gonna smack the shit out of him slash her. For giving us all these chest colds. <coughs> Rev missing with that overdrive. Shit's crazy. <coughs> A very close match here. Oh, nice comboing by the Rev, but you know, I mean, Noelle masturbates. She just plays with herself. Indeed. That is Noelle in a nutshell. I think like the Rev is kind of trying to get a feel for the moves here while trying to you know play as her. And oh, nice distortion finish. The second round goes to the Rev. This match could go either way. I uh, really have no idea what's gonna happen. Bring it on with that combo. I have not seen anything this intense since uh, the Rev's match with Brian Danielson back in 010. How was that? Uh, no, that was in Wembley. Oh yeah, I was there. Defending the title when uh, Danielson was on that scouting mission. Yeah, that one, yeah. I think the Rev's got this one, but no, Liam's bringing that heat back. Uh, what's the Rev's overdrive gauge looking like? I don't know if he's going to be able to uh, get a distortion in. And Liam is bringing it down to the wire. This shit is Pringles and Doritos and Lay's potato chips and uh, just the whole fucking Frito-Lay family. Next hit wins this one. Holy shit! Liam gets this one. Holy motherfucking shit, man. <coughs> That's crazy. <coughs> wow. I did not expect that. Liam has finally won a match. Rev is still three, three and one. That was beast. You know, just like we learned Sunday, streaks can end, but uh, this day is not over. No, it is not. All right. Wow, that was that was hype. Well, that was what that guy incoherently said hype was. I, I think the Rev's going to bring it now. All right, the Rev is uh, Underboob Squirrel, and um, I believe uh, Liam is Elderly Twilight there. Elderly Twilight. That's a good one. Watch closely and see. You're in for some hurt. Pretty stage. I always wanted to just fight the better the roses. Wheel of fate is turning. It's really not different than barbed wire. Something the Rev knows a lot about. The Rev is a hardcore icon. <laughs> She's a little close on. Um, Liam knows how to combo with the wolf form. Uh, Liam's bringing it. I think he 
might see the greatest comeback in fighting game history. At least since uh, that evil moment where Daigo did that parry shit that, you know, only an autistic retard could do. That's not very cool. Yeah, but you know. Oh man, Mi Rev missed with that overdrive. That is going to cost him. Definitely gonna cost him. He, 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 the Rev does not have this round. But yeah, let's not rule the Rev. No, no rule the Rev out. Rule the Rev out. That, that one uh, That one goes to Liam. Liam is feeling the heat. Now he's cooling off. Man, this shit has been um, Gordon's. Gordon's fish, and it's been like a DiGiorno pizza. It's been a freshetta pizza. It's been like hot pockets. You know, one is one is satisfying. But then you realize you gotta have another one. Yeah, and like you know, you're gonna have like that other hot pocket. And next thing you know, you know, there's like five hot pockets that you put in the microwave, and you're still not satisfied. That is what this has been. It's been a whole shit ton of hot pockets. Liam is be oh shit! Oh! <coughs> that was sick. I did not. That came completely out of nowhere. Rev knows how to use under boob squirrel. I think Rev does a lot of things to under. Oh shit! If he connects this, this round is over. Oh, I blocked it. He blocked it! He blocked it if he couldn't understand what the FTP just said. Alright, next hit wins this thing. Next hit. Oh! Wow, that was so fucking close. That was so, so fucking close. That was ridiculous. That was redonkulous. Holy mother of fuck! Yeah, I mean, that was. That was hype. That was. Um, that was Goya. That was just foreign to me. All right, that was horrible. That was worse than the one you made yesterday about the jerky. I'm new to this. I'm not fucking James Chip. By, I, by, the, by the way, I'm going to add someone yesterday, uh, I think some a German fan of ours. Elbin, was it? Was it Elbin? I think he said that one of us sounds like James Chen. I have no idea who the fuck that is. Neither do I. Who the fuck is James Chen? Is he like that guy that calls the Evo matches or something? Ah, uh, whatever. Um. <laughs> Alright, I mean, the Rev is now like three and two. The Rev's still ahead. But uh, Sir Liam has a chance to tie it with the next fight. Alright, so, uh, I'm, wow. And this has been hype. It's been hype. It's been Pringles. It's been Dorita. It's been the whole fucking Frito Lay family. Like I said earlier, and I cannot wrap my mind around how hype this has been. You know, uh, this is probably the greatest gathering of Blaze Blue talent between these two. These two don't fuck around. They know what they're doing. Um, you know, uh, crazy shit. All right, well, we're, we're going to tally this up. because We don't know if the Rev's still ahead counting yesterday or if Liam's... Or if they're tied, we get a check. We're going to uh, fact check right now uh, just before we throw it to the next match. So we're going to do that. All right, so here we are. We're at the halfway point. Uh, Dr. Levesque did the uh, tally. The Rev is still ahead. Uh, overall, he is uh, four and three. So that, that's pretty big. That's big. The Rev, the Rev could take this with the next bat match. A uh, rev just needs two more wins. This shit's his. Crazy, and uh, you know, we get the rev here. Uh, rev, well, um, I <coughs> excuse me. I gotta ask you, what is uh, what is your ultimate goal? What do you want to accomplish as a blaze bluer? Blaze bluer. I guess I coined a new term. No, that's a pretty stupid term. You've been doing that a lot, like throughout this whole thing. Um. What, what's my goal? Well, you know, I want to be the very best. Like, no one ever was. To uh, catch them is my real test, and I want to train because that's my cause. I'll travel around the world, search far and wide. Uh, each Blaze Blue character to understand the power that's inside. Uh, 
Blaze Blue, I gotta master them all. I know it's my destiny. Blaze Blue's my best friend. In a world we must defend from the Black Beast, every challenge along the way with courage I'll face. I will battle every day to claim my rightful place. Come with me, the time is right. There's no better team. Arm in arm, win with a fight. It has always been my dream. And that's the bottom line. If you smell what the John is flushing. <laughs> okay. I, there's something really familiar about that. I, I don't know. <laughs> All, right. All right. Oh, shit. Revolver's bringing it now. That's, that's it. That's... This one's a, the ref won this battle already. He picked Kokonoe. This is over. I mean, it was, that was an intense promo by the ref. Even though there's something really familiar about it. <laughs> this will be We're gassed. This has just been the hypest day in the history of hype. Oh, man, I... Can't even think straight right now. All right, the Rev already bringing it on. Man, the Rev knows he has to win this match. If he does not win this match, it's over. Or, you know, at least his, uh, his lead is in jeopardy. <coughs> yeah, and the Rev definitely knows what he's doing with Kokonoe. More than we can say really about his uh, Tao game, as we saw yesterday. But uh, I think uh, getting ta uh, getting uh, Kokonoe was uh, money well spent yesterday. Definitely. Definitely the Rev. Uh, knowing that. Oh, there we go. He knew, he knew that he needed that advantage, so he got Kokonoe. There is a lot of fetishes with Kokonoe. Just, just go to Rule 34, look up Kokonoe. You will see some pretty fucking hot shit. Oh, yeah. I know that's right. I have not said that in a long ass time. I know, but uh, that's how it goes, you know. I won't say something for a while, I'll just bring it up. Uh, but by the way, yesterday you uttered the greatest line in the entire history of your career. I, I just, you, you, right now, right now you can get the That Chick's Not a Chick, That Chick Has a Dick t-shirts. They're on sale right now at our gift shop. And uh, the ref just won this match. No, Yazzie! Yes, no effort whatsoever. Rev won this shit. And uh, that was awesome. Awesome. That was, that was the most must-see battle of this tournament. That was the Miz. Because it was the most must-see. That's another phrase that doesn't make any sense. But, uh, yeah. Rev's back on track. I just, I don't know if he can keep this uh, momentum going. We'll find out, won't we? We will. All right, two more matches to go. We got the Rev as the Makoto and uh, Liam as Platinum. Uh, Rev is, uh, he's getting his, uh, getting his bell rung. He still has an advantage. But uh, there's not much left for the, in the Rev's tank, I don't think. Uh, yeah, the, don't don't rule out the Rev. All right, well the Rev is under boob squirrel. Let's see if the Rev can bring it. I, tell, I am I'm exhausted. This has been so hype. This has been so hype. This has been the whole fucking grocery store. The Rev uh, going with the most, most powerful blows he can land, but that's not really going to help him. No, uh, Platinum is a very random... It's a very random uh, character. <coughs> and, uh... Rev cannot rest on uh, just power moves. And... You're an autopilot. We're, we're both on autopilot at this point. This has been crazy shit all day, every day. And I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> And it does look like Liam is about to win another one. The Rev is, I think, the Rev's gotten too cocky. The Rev, uh, the Rev was resting on his laurels earlier. Now he's just, uh, 
We should, maybe we should just shut the fuck up and let these last two matches play out. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Don't underestimate me. I'm a bat. that last match but here it is the final battle uh this this is practically fucking tied right now yeah uh, but the rev wins this one he wins the whole series liam wins this one he ties so uh let's see let's see if uh yeah, gold gold uh, you know, liam was definitely um foreseeing himself winning but the rev's kokonoi is unfucking stoppable i'm going with the rev do not rule out the red. I mean, it's dumbfounded as we were the last match that we couldn't finish it. We gotta do this one. Yeah, Rev's definitely, uh, he's bringing the heat on early on here. He's bringing the whole fucking grocery store and the convenience store across the street and the gas station. That's how hype the Rev is. This shit is so fucking close already. This is the hypest match we've seen of all the days of the days of the hype. And, uh, oh, overdrive, but the rev blocks it. But the rev's, uh, he's down on his life here. Oh, shit. This is going to be one of those next hit win situations. Ah, oh! countering the overdrive. Oh, man, this is. Oh, shit. This round goes to Liam. Wow. Yeah, and, and we started with Terumi. We're ending with Terumi. <coughs> well, I think the rev is. The rev's tired. You know, he was resting too much on his laurels and he got cocky. Rev's gotta land some offense here. That's it. That is it. That's it. Liam, Liam's tied this thing. We did not have a winner. And the rev could still come back. No. Rev's not coming back. Oh, we are tied. We are fucking tied. I am, I am, oh, holy shit. And the Rev's Kokonoi actually lost. Can we get some reactions here? <laughs> 